Operator, I got a wrong number. I want 517-756-7745. Welcome to another video. What is this weird tape we're listening to? Did you apologize and record the number the customer wishes on a ticket with the elapsed time? Huh? Since this customer was connected for only one minute, what is your next step? Let him have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that going to be your next step? Yeah. What this is, this is a very strange uh, uh, telephone training tape. And in a lot of these videos that we use with reel-to-reels, you know, you got the bigger 7-inch reels and the smaller 5-inch reels. I use these smaller reels just because they take up less space and they're easier to rewind. But look at this one. This says September 8th, 1969. So this thing turned 50 years old just last month. It's older than I am. And here's the box. Look at the box. The box has this phone company symbol, Western Electric, calls and sequence, whatever, magnetic training tape. So it's very weird. Western Electric, of course, was the precursor to today's AT&T and part of the big bell system. But it's part of the phone company. So this is some sort of tape. And, you know, by 1969, they had direct dial capability, but I guess you still needed operators to do things like person-to-person uh, -person calls, pay phones, that kind of thing, information. So... Humphrey... Bill, I guess we were cut off. I was asking for the invoice number of the Hoffman Company's last order. Since you know the customer had been connected to the correct number, there was one action not required for cutoffs that was required for wrong numbers. What was this action? I guess this is some sort of tape training. I couldn't find much about it. Okay, now we're playing it backwards. Here it is. Yeah, well, it's recorded on the tape backwards. It's actually on the left channel, it's got a uh, well, the, uh, the voices, and on the right channel... If it's you know what app we're using, it's called Audacity. Audacity, yeah. I reversed it in Audacity. I hadn't really much cared about these tapes. My dad gave them to me when I was your age, and I just erased them. Now I can easily reverse it. I can go back and listen to what's on there. But I did find this old Bell Systems manual from... From 1976. Well, this, yeah, that's... So this was a training tape, an internal phone company uh, training tape. Those beeps uh, set up this console, and I believe it was for this TSPS, TSPS thing. Here's a picture of the cabinet. Notice over there it says it's got a magnetic tape voice reproducer, and the, which looks like two reels. So I'm sure you loaded it into this cabinet, and then the operator could sit there and learn how to do it. This memo in this document is actually from something describing the replacement of this system with another easier system that used cassette tapes. And so instead of these big cabinets with reel-to-reels, you had this little cassette tape. And this looked like this went into place. This document was dated, I think, 1979. So in the end, it was a little bit more self-service. They could just load a cassette, and they could also do that. And that describes the the data, how some of the data worked. But there's the console, you know. It, was a, they it had looks this, weird. It looks yeah. like from Darth Vader's on Darth, the ship. Darth Vader, yeah. Well, it was just a couple of displays, and I guess these calls came in, and you could route the call. And Well, now that I've got a tape recorder, easy way to play back these tapes, thought I'd load it to YouTube. I couldn't find it anywhere else on the Internet. So here it is, some highlights from the Western Electric training tape. Some of this is from 1968, 69, some of it from 72. See you next time. Part 1. This learning tape, learning guide combination, will teach you how to handle service difficulties reported on a flashing recall signal. Reports of cutoffs, poor transmission, and wrong numbers caused by the equipment will be covered. You will learn how to report trouble and how to prepare a credit memo ticket when one is required. In an earlier lesson, you learned how to answer a flashing kind of call amp and complete a wrong number call caused by customer or operator misdialing. Let's review one of these calls to the point of key pulsing forward by answering this next signal. I just reached a wrong number. I'm trying to reach 516-756-7754. Did you remember to apologize for the unsatisfactory service and record the desired number on a ticket? Now tell me, what does the time in the display tell you? It tells you the amount of time the customer was connected to the wrong number. We refer to this as the elapsed time of conversation. How long was this customer connected? This customer was connected for only one minute. Next, display the called number to check the number in the memory. Is the number in the display the same as the one requested by the customer? No, the number is not the same. 
Now that you know this wrong number was caused by misdialing and the customer was connected for only one minute, you can proceed with the call.